Punk Revolution now. Hey everybody, today we're going to be reviewing Gorilla Toss's new EP, What Would the Odd Do? What a wacky freaking EP title. Did I say album? This is an EP. So, Gorilla Toss is a band from New York that's been around for like a decade now. That they've they they're really they're a really freaking cool band actually. The way they they've developed over time from like a crazy noisy no wave crazy heavy punky band to something that's a little bit more on the accessible kind of like psychedelic side that's still very like dance punk and um, a little bit more noise poppy. But. <laughs> Regardless, let's look at the cover so we can talk about the new EP that what people are here to listen about. <laughs> this album artwork is pretty cool because it has that essential Gorilla Toss aesthetic. It kind of looks a little bit similar to some of their other album uh, covers, but this one's a little bit more refined, a little bit more mature, a little bit more, I mean, ooh, look at that. A little bit more kind of put together, I guess you could say, which which fits very nicely because this, this, if you listen to the music in this EP, that's exactly what you're going to get. It's kind of Gorilla Toss coming together for a more refined sound. Like I said, their earlier stuff was more kind of like abrasive, no wave harsh kind of stuff going on and they evolve they put some math rock in their music at times they put sort of like kind of like progressive pop in their music at times dance punk blah 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 and they really kind of come together in a sound that's that's um still fundamentally like noise pop with a little bit of like dance punk at, the, at heart but this is actually a pretty accessible catchy po noise poppy record that honestly i could even picture this music playing in the background of like Nickelodeon Jr. or something. It's very, very, like, I, I would be totally happy to play this music for my children because it's so accessible and so fun. And I don't mean that is in a, in a negative way whatsoever. I think it's, it's, I don't, I'm not saying it's like, oh, this is children's music. I'm saying it's music that's so sweet and delicious like candy that kids could enjoy it too because the melodies are so fucking juicy and delicious and huge and you just want to sing along and the way it progresses with the chord changes it just feels so grand and awesome but behind this grand these grand awesome melodies with like blissful kind of a blissful emotion behind it there's a lot of really awesome influences coming through here like in the bass lines I'm hearing kind of like almost like a little bit of like a punk thing obviously cuz you know they're a punk band like almost like a like a new wave slash post punk kind of influence same with the vocals a little bit of punk in there in the midst of the pop and then the the the, the use of repetition throughout the music that with with using like psychedelic textures kind of reminds me a bit of maybe like Stereo Lab or like Kraut Rock or something a little bit more progressive and th that progressive element is kind of it, uh, enhanced a bit by some of the the odd time signatures they're using here. So very accessible, very fun, very enjoyable album with a lot of textures and a lot of details and a lot of really fucking cool influences that come together in a very cohesive, delicious, enjoyable, fun EP. I love this EP. I'm giving it an 8.8 8 out of 10. Ten. Um, I, I, the only thing is, like, I just want a full album of it. I really hope Gorilla Toss releases like a full album on par with this EP because it's just I want more of it. And did I also say it's an eight out of ten, eight up eight point eight out of ten? I feel like I'm forgetting to say something. Oh yeah, it's just like one of my favorite things I've heard from Gorilla Toss. So that's all I gotta say. Thanks for watching Punk Revolution. You you say it first. I'll say it first then. Now.